Hello? Hey, I'm still setting up my workspace. Okay. I'm a little bit late. Okay. Um, I'll be right back then. Perfect, yeah. And a back. Oh, perfect timing. Woohoo. Um, oh, where is my Emacs? There it is. Okay. Okay. I I found out that I had a project that's due tonight at midnight. So I oh, haven't no. touched it. <laughs> yeah, no, it was a bad realization. But anyway. Um, okay. My Anyway, my group members are finishing that up, but I have not touched this uh, since since we met last. Uh, oh, okay. So we're uh, still on the chat thing then? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. This isn't due until like the 8th or 9th, so I'm like, I'm chilling, man. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Uh, so... so is we this have found class or no sort of sort of this one this one involves like networking uh but but it uses stuff from an from a, another class uh that i did before okay and then i've been doing practice with c on some of these related things because that other class i took was like the worst <laughs> i see um, so yeah okay so it's uh not directly like an assignment from a class yeah it's like uh, it's like or they, that you're like, taking right now I guess. correct yeah yeah it's like a little loosey-goosey yeah okay well and and then like the, the like there were lecture materials and all of that provided that i like have access to but again nice. it was like they don't teach like you get to networks like networking and there's like nothing yeah. like it's that whole you mentioned before that seems to be common but yeah, and then uh, same thing with compilers. Um, I was just with another student where, yeah, it's they're like, um, I don't know. It's like they assume that you, or actually, I think what it really is is that they don't remember what it's like not to know. I think that's. I think you're totally uh, right. Yeah. It's that. Yeah, and I think it's they don't remember like how much you don't know because then as you're learning it's there's so much you're trying to absorb all at once it just makes it harder to like hold ever, like retain information yeah um oh yeah so we had that bizarro thing last time where the it worked sometimes and it failed sometimes for you is it yes still but in we that state yeah so you? it's still in that state but we had found okay. we had found this resource that we were going to use and apply hold on the this one i saved it and i had i was gonna work on it and then the whole, i was like oh shit <laughs> the whole uh choosing or letting the os choose a port for correct you. yeah that's what we that's um, what our go, gas uh, gas was for what the problem is uh yeah. okay copy note 
notes. Okay. Um, how to find out what port I'm assigned. Yeah, that is what I want. Um. <laughs> my cat has come to inform me that it is time to feed. It is Aww. not, but my cat does not know that. My cat's pretty sure it's time to feed. <laughs> Every time is time. <laughs> what time is it? Feeding time. <laughs> Always that and forever. Narrow it down. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so then uh, automatically get my IP import using this. Um, and then bind. After a successful bind, how do I get my IP import? I'm actually assigned. Yeah, okay, so let's go make this change in the server side. Yeah. Um, so chat serve? No. Yeah, it was um, chat serve. Um, chat serve dot c and then where is the adder adder here um zero zero is zero in any direction and then in adder okay. any Um, that's what this is. Uh. So we just said it, okay. Zero. Okay, and then we bind. And then we need to find out what port I'm actually assigned. What it does is find all interfaces and attaches to each one of them. You might have right many right answers. Oh, okay. So if you have multiple network cards on your computer, I, I guess that will attach to all of them? Or it attaches to... Binds to each one of them. This is saying that it attaches to every single one of them. So that's interesting. For um, For but wouldn't that wouldn't it all make more sense there instead of any? It doesn't bind to any of them. It tells the stack to act as though it was bound to all of them. That's why it's called that doesn't make that I disagree with that logic. <laughs> like but okay. Uh actually it doesn't bind to each one. It doesn't bind to any. It tells it to act as though it was bound to all. Okay. Okay. Uh Still doesn't help in finding out what uh, get sock name, p error sock name. So if it's a server socket, then you should call lit. You should call listen on your socket, then get sock name to find the port number on which it is listening. Listen. Uh. What? Okay, well, I guess we can do struct. Mm -hmm. Well, we already have a sock adder in, which is called listener. So yeah. we can use that. Um, sock len. So if, uh, we can just copy this. And... Um, what did we call it? Listener. And do we already have a length of? No, we call size of. Okay. Oh, but we need to. Okay, so um, we do actually want this then. Size of. Listen, listener, struct sock adder in, sock adder in, listener. Yes, okay, cool. So, um, 
we're ignoring this port number. And then here we can do this or print port number whatever. Okay, I guess let's see if that works. So, oh, uh, well, we'll be able to run the server side. Um, and we need to update the uh, client side. <coughs> nope, didn't like that. Um, oh, I got rid of the variable for port number. Chat serve. Here. Um, S in. Ah, that should be listener sin. Listen. Right. Okay. And then port number. Variable port number set but not used. Okay. Um, port number. We will. Uh, oh. I guess we can just yeah. take it. Yeah. We can now. just leave that? Like comment out or. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to comment it out for now. Okay, so it tells me that I'm going to do in port. port now. Do you have you made any chat changes on what's it called uh, chat side yet, or just no? So the server side now does that, and now I need to go update the chat side. I think I might have done like a comment about what it would look like. Yeah. Um. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I did actually. Okay. Oh, but this is this needs to be int port uh, is equal to that, and we need to say if argc is less than two, then printf uh, usage percent s port um, argv zero. Then return zero. Okay, and then we get the port, and then we where do we use that here? Port. Uh, it, each it's just a couple lines down. So here, this then becomes port. So yeah, yeah. Cool. Um. And then I don't think we use it anywhere else. Probably no. not. Uh, client zero make run client, I think. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, let's go modify the make. Oh, no, we can't. We can't run it anymore. Like that. Oh, why? Do oh, yeah. And then the port number. So we can't just oh! automatically. Yeah. We have to first get, don't we have to, do we have to first get which port we've been routed to from? So the server will, when we start the server, then we find out what port us. number. Uh, and then when I we see. start the client, we have to tell it which port number. Okay. What is your name? Charles. Oh, I guess we still have uh, some, oh, wait a minute. Error checking. Hold on. Charles identified. Yeah, so we, <laughs> we still have some stuff. Um, let's go take out those. That's kind of annoying right now. Hold on. Um, make open. Oh, just gonna make sure. Okay, so I do get the port number. Cool. And then this one. What is this? So, I don't think, I don't think, uh, the, this has to go after the call to listen. Uh, I think it needs, it, it can go right after the call to bind. After the call to bind? Yeah, I think once, 
the socket is bound, it's bound and given a port number. Okay. Uh, I get. I'm not super sure about that, but um, yeah. So let's go try that out. And the client needs also to. So so when I. Oh, did it when I work? connected, it said, uh, it let me input my name, and then it got did check, checking A, B, and then it told me unable to connect to server. Oh. 458589, 45, 458, yeah. Huh. And then this also didn't update. Uh, what didn't update? The server. Because we were having it, it shouldn't tell me that, like, I've... So it tells me before accepting socket, uh, but I didn't get an oh, after. It never said after. Yeah, okay. And um, then we also didn't get, yeah, me connecting, right? Uh, hmm. So let me go back. What did I do wrong? So here, I can also, let me restart maybe, I don't know. Okay, um, I will kill my server and, oh, that was the client, but that is also good. Kelsey server, kill, uh oh, serve, oh yeah, okay. Uh, I have to move this also up here. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I didn't recompile my client. <laughs> um. What I do? Clients. What number? So it's consistently failing like that. Let me connect another one just to see. Cool. Consistency is good. <laughs> yeah. Um, so then okay. it's not the port number. Right. Uh, then why, Did I do the... why is accept not working? I don't know. Um, let's go on the internet. <laughs> yeah. Dear the internet. Um, <laughs> Dear internet. C except not working. Why? Um, failing a socket. Failing C plus plus failing at socket accept method. Yeah, let's try that. server I learned that it will stuck at accept while there isn't a connection my program there isn't any connection yet but the overflow but it get overflowed with the connection <laughs> I mean, I my console got spammed with connection 
Thanks, guys. I fixed it. <laughs> I don't know what he's trying to ask there. I also don't understand. For um, ants. For Windows users, make sure that you're not calling that no. function anywhere in your code, which might be a custom class for sockets that you created. Okay. I feel like that guy, this guy had this problem. For, he made this problem for himself. <laughs> and then now he's telling other yeah. people. <laughs> Guys, don't ever do this. <laughs> Guys, don't do this thing. Only people who are super in the know know about this thing. You're assigning You're the results right? of the same S, which is terribly wrong. Yeah, that's... S is general listening socket, presumably created by socket, bound by bind, set to listening by listen, whereas the return value of accept is another socket which you should use for transferring data. Uh, where, what do we do with accept? I accept. We set it to... Yeah, we do the right thing here. Yeah, C. C sock. C sock. Yeah, C sock. Um, I don't know. What did I do? You broke it. <laughs> I kind of. I'm gonna zip up. Yeah my folder and then send you it and see if that works see if that works okay like, that's a good idea yeah maybe we have a slight difference in our code <laughs> Network practice, so, so zip. Uh, oh, did I already do this? Well, that's an old one anyway, if I did. Yeah, you, you sent me uh, just the make file, I think, before. Um. Uh, whatever, I'm also going to send you, well, how big is it? What is this? Uh, this is. Wait, what? Oh, twenty. I'm talking myself. Megs? Yeah. Or no, two hundred kilobytes. I think that's fine. <laughs> uh, I think that's two hundred kilobytes, ish. <laughs> um, do 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 do. Uh. So, uh, attach, I was just meeting with a guy and I was like, mm -hmm. there's like a lot of ground to cover. I don't think it's going to happen. Is it okay yeah. with you if we don't get anything meaningful, if it feels like we got nothing done today? And he was like, yeah. And so I just explained stuff the whole time. Yeah, like like a lecture done. style. Yeah, uh, like so we're writing a compiler uh, or an evaluator. Okay. Uh, and uh, well, he is. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Or at least that's the, what the homework assignment is. Um, yeah. And then so we came across like some instructions on what what task to do next, and it became clear that he didn't understand like what the task was um, mm -hmm. so he's writing an interpreter for uh scheme and he doesn't know scheme at all so mm -hmm. uh so then i have to explain like by giving some scheme examples what 
what are different things that you can do in the scheme and what are what are the consequences anyway i sent the oh the, uh, yeah and so i spent the whole time and then it, and then it seems like he doesn't he also doesn't know haskell which is the language that he's using to write oh, the scheme interpreter oh no oh and no then, and then it seems further as though he doesn't know the project that he's working on like in addition to knowing haskell you would need to know for this specific project like what is what does this type what's it used for are these right. two different types or are they are they just being used interchangeably uh because the assignment description is yeah so i spent the whole time like finding answers to questions like that and explaining it to him and he he's oh, seemed no. like a good sport about it so that was cool I worry well, I'm, when, I'm sure that's hard though for him you know it's like it's hard for him but it's also hard for me because I, I worry that like yeah. at the end of that I'm gonna submit the session and then he's gonna so he's gonna say we didn't get anything done zero stars <laughs> oh and no that's so, not your fault yeah I know yeah. it's not my fault but that's the reality that happens sometimes people are like why didn't you teach me all of CS in in an hour and I'm like well Bro. I mean, either I teach you all of CS in an hour, which is not going to happen, or I do the homework for you, right. which is not going to happen. I that there doesn't appear to be any other way for me. Like, what else do you want me to do? So, right. when it comes to situations like that, I I'm like, oh man, I don't know if I want to keep meeting with this person because I mean, yeah, like, I, I, could, I, I, I could ask. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty sure everybody's going to say no. I wouldn't do that. Um, right, right. They're not going to tell you to your face, like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, okay, although here we go. I've I've started doing something like asking, uh, and then and then I I make it like super clear that as soon as I as soon as I can, like what I expect is going to happen, and then that kind of eases the meeting like expectations. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Setting the expectations is it's been it's been better. Um. So yeah, it's so super hard though. Like I'm sorry, man. I feel for you because like you work so hard and like you're dealing with with dummies like, like me, where it's like I know nothing, and and that's so much to juggle, especially when you have like here's an hour or like two hours. Yeah, like, it's, it's a actually, lot. Dealing with you is actually like pretty great because you seem to <laughs> feel okay with uh saying like I don't know what this means. Um, yeah, yeah. And also, yeah. you don't you don't seem to give me like i don't get the impression that you're gonna rate me as uh one star because i didn't explain everything no hell no man uh, dude i can give you five stars every time give me give you a hundred stars you've saved Thanks. me like I've, I've learned so much so quickly with your help so yeah Thanks. yeah, yeah I've, I've noticed uh i have a lot of uh a lot of five stars from you thanks yes yeah, so yes i appreciate all your effort um because it's it's a lot <laughs> you deal with me. i'm like oh my god help me <laughs> Okay. It seems like you're willing to be wrong, and that's uh. Yeah, I'm wrong all the time. Oh my god. Yeah. That's that's a huge so deal. Wrong. That that means you can find out that you're wrong instead of kind of hope that you aren't wrong and live in uncertainty and not really learn what the right thing is when you are wrong. The one thing that's been hard is that there are times I found where like because I'm learning and I'm not like a, I'm not like really a total idiot. Like I've got some capacity here. Uh, yeah. It's just a matter of like skill and time, but there are times where I'm like, oh, I'm pretty sure like this is actually right, but but because I'm I'm like so new to everything, I'm like nah. And then and then like I had that with the project I'm working on with my group, we're doing some machine learning nonsense, and I'm like I'm pretty sure we do this, but I'm working with two people who have way more like technical experience than I do, yeah. and they're like no 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 it's this, and yeah. then it ended up where I was right, and I was like oh my god the lid oh, no. the lid dork got you and it was because of this practice with c though i'm like oh cool. i'm like i well because like now that i've practiced more with like uh with numbers and uh like like doing binary actually for like for my other class we had to do assembly and like learn how like overflow errors and all that happened they were right. they were using like binary values of one and negative one and then like they plugged it into some machine learning algorithm that was then <clears throat> doing calculations with negative one and we were getting like these infinity answers back and I'm like, I'm telling you, this is because we're, why aren't we using zero and one? They're like, nah, nah, nah. and then we changed and it worked. And I was like, ah, ha, ha. <laughs> anyway, 
so I'm I'm making small progress. Except yeah. that I do. No, I keep my mouth shut because I'm wrong all the time. But I'm like, okay, Kelsey, you're learning little things. Like uh, you yeah. go, lady. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think you're doing well. I, I guess I don't know, but it, it, from from what I've seen, <laughs> you're doing all right. <laughs> I feel like there's progress and that's that's positive. As long as I'm not stuck in the same place, I'm like, okay, cool. Um Okay, um, so I I've, I've updated. Let me try running and compiling now. Give me just a second. I have to change back. Cool. And I can tell you something about on the command line it said uh says CD classic computer database. I, um I was it was because there's white spaces and I was yeah. pulling up uh an actual file from my my computer and not here yeah. and I was like, "Oh, I'm being stupid." I yeah, oh, I, I realized. Okay. Yes. All I right, realized cool. what I was doing. Thank you, though, because yep. I am dumb. <laughs> okay, so now I can go back. We all are. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm especially stupid sometimes. Uh, I know. <laughs> okay, <work>. you win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't tell me I'm wrong about being wrong. <laughs> okay, so now we do make a gun. Okay. So this is Three, running. Four, seven, four, five. Okay, and we jump over Eight, here. Six, seven, five, three, oh, nine, nine. <laughs> Poor Jenny. Oh, I put in a C. Uh, it would probably just get ignored. Oh. Okay. Or... I, I don't. No. What is my name now? It it just ignored it, but weird. Oh, because uh, because we said if it's not exactly if, equal to two. We said if yeah. Oh. And then whoops. we just I had mean, an I guess exit. That's fine. Yeah. We could like print a goodbye message, but whatever, I, who cares? Yeah. Yeah. Uh what is my name? Kelsey. So I still get where? unable to connect to server. Oh, did I, I mean, did I wait maybe? Did yeah. I update this? Uh let's do GCC dash oh. Does it um are you running yours or the one that I just sent you? This is, this is the one you sent me and I did oh, okay. uh I did update it. I just kept my file name. I just like pasted the code in. Uh, GCC dash o chat client. And this was client. Oh C. wait, did you I'm... overwrote your version. I I have it still saved on. Oh, okay, um, okay. Still have it. Yeah. Somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I have like I have so I have a copy of all my files on my machine, and then I have another copy on the Tux server. I see. Uh, and so I overwrote the one on the Tuck server, but not the one on my machine. And that was gotcha. why I got confused with my file paths. And I was uh, like, do, do, do. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. GCC dash O client. Okay. So just to make sure. Oh, chat client. Uh, oh, I did it backwards. It client. Like... I did it backwards. Chat client dot C. C L I E N T. Okay. An ideal undefined reference. Oh, I didn't do the LP3. Yeah. Yes. So chat. Chat client dot C minus LP. Cool. Client. And then what was my tux? What was my server? Uh, it's been so long. <laughs> How can you not know? Dash client. What? There's no such directory. Client. Oh, it's did, what dot did slash I... chat client. Or no, did chat. I... Oh, chat. Oh, dot chat. chat. Oh, I, I really boot. Oh, man. I'm blown it. God, God, Kelsey, what are you doing? <laughs> this is, this unable, is unable to connect. connect. So it's okay, still so the it's same... literally the same code and it's still not working. Yeah. Uh,. Uh, I don't know how to troubleshoot that. Um, That's okay. I mean, I can. Hmm. I'll I'll send it to my professor and TA and ask them because it might be like a tux thing. So. Yeah, I guess so. I am running on Linux on my local machine, so it's not. Can you uh do uname dash a? I think. You name dash a. Yeah. It's Ubuntu. Oh right. Um. Kernel five point four. So not the kernel that I've contributed to yet. Um, but, <laughs> uh, and then I think it's uh, 
LSB underscore release. Is that what it is? LSP or B? LS uh, B, like base. Okay. Yeah. Um, it says no. That's not it. Uh... Oh, let me look at my notes. I'm trying to figure out like what version of uh, Ubuntu you have. Oh, uh, do cat slash etc slash issue. I think. Yeah. At slash etc. Cat space slash etc. Actually, do you need a space there? I think you do. Let's find huh? out. Cat slash etc slash issue. I think it'll say yeah. That's not a thing. Yeah. Okay. So twenty point oh four. Okay. That's not that old. And it's an LTS. Huh. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. I guess ask your teacher. And it works what is, sometimes, right? Yeah, it was working. So before before we changed the port stuff, it was sending over bits and pieces of my message, and then randomly I had capital letters in it. That is like, like it was really weird. And then we were we were thinking, well, maybe it's because like everyone's running stuff on the same, yeah, port, or they could be. Uh, so then we were thinking, oh, well, maybe it's getting, like, mixed up? I don't know, because the other thing that was weird is we couldn't figure out where it was getting those letters. Yeah. I don't know. Aww. Kitty kitty. Yeah. Kitty kitty. Um, I don't know. I guess we could roll back, uh, and rewrite... A little bit at a time uh or we could we could undo what we've currently done um except we didn't really i, I don't know yeah no know what we most I, recently added yeah i i don't know either um i'm gonna i'm just gonna send it over and ask because i think it's gonna be like the best use of my time because i don't know if there's something weird about the way our servers yeah. are set up like wanna... that then uh work on something else right now or like what do you want to do i'll probably wrap early and jump back into my project uh okay and uh, like you, you get know. that done <laughs> oh it's it's getting done it's just <laughs> my brain you know yeah okay, all right cool. well thanks so much for the help and at least like uh explaining it so i can get this far um yeah because um, this was super weird yeah yeah it is super weird okay I'll see you next time. Yeah, thank you. Yep, bye.